Uh, hello YouTube, I'm back at it again with another buddy fight profile. Um, I went to Grand Fest um, yesterday at the time of recording. So did we. So did Miles and Atlas. <laughs> <laughs> um, Atlas didn't go yesterday. That was the joke on MP4. He misplayed by not Shut up! Fight. So, um... So, uh, I'm gonna be doing the deck that I entered with. I got, I went 5-2 and two and I got uh, top 16, I got 13th, which I'm actually pretty proud of. I entered uh, with my updated Dragon's Vi deck. So the flag, Dragon's Vi, you get 20 life, but you can only use dragon monsters and nothing more. This has a nice little piece of erratum. This flag says I can use generic cards, but you can't do that, because if you could use generic spells, that'd be kind of weird. So uh, my buddy is still from- How would it be weird, Gabe? Can you please explain? No. Okay. Um, my buddy is still the over X dimension. <clears throat> Prime fucking card, came in hella clutch. I. Uh, it, I loved it. He was. I'm glad he's my buddy. He's probably like my favorite card in the deck. I made him my buddy because he was the cheapest of the three main cards. But like, I just love this card. It came in really clutch for uh, all of the games. Yeah, he's way cheaper than Gyra Plus. But Gyra Plus doesn't come clutch. Uh, I'm running one copy of the Gowan box flag. Um, this came in really clutch because um, you ripped me off. You're so original. I was gonna make the joke. You just happened to do the no, deck profile weren't. first. So can we upload this one before Miles's? No. Thanks. So, um, it came in really clutch because it uh, lets me go have 20 left, but it lets me also start the 24. So, um, uh, yeah, so this is a really Is that the new handy. life counter from the expansion pack, uh, Onslaught of Dragon Souls? Yeah, actually, because she is a dragon and a uh, soulful fighter. So, he's um, dead. He's dead. He lost his soul. No, all he is is his soul, so that's how you know. Um, spoiler alert. So, no one cares. this came in really handy for all of my games, uh, MVP of the day. Uh, next, we're running four copy of Super Sun Dragon Ball Soleil. Another great card because uh, double attack Soul Guard 727 can go up a crit and reduce damage. I actually beat an Oni player because he misplayed, so I used a card to um, make Ball Soleil. Oh, so you won without skill, okay. Hell yeah! A win is a win. So I made Ball Soleil a size 0, and he used a Buki to destroy Ball. And um, he thought it would deal me three damage, but because Ball was a size zero, it um, it spooked him and I took no damage, so that was great. And then when he, when he destroyed um, a actual size three, it was reduced by Ball's effect, so uh, God bless Baru Soraru. Um, my buddy is Dimension, so I should probably run multiple copies of my buddy. <clears throat> so here's four copies of him. He can have triple soul and double attack and penetrate. I want, because it stacks. Elwood Kite, another great card. Two gauge top deck to soul. Pay two life, mill three. You can call something by paying its cost and it becomes a zero. That's so you have size zero ball soleil. So it's really cool. This is an absurd card. I love it. Uh, next, four copies of the Law Gyra Plus. I've seen a lot of Zvi players not run it, but I actually love this card because it tutors your entire deck. So you can see, you can run one ofs and you see them because of this. <laughs> Uh, and it's a, it has a really nice stat line. It's a 737, so it's just a really good wall. It can hit a throw by itself. Um, next we're gonna go four copies of the Hisatsu no Monstani! Gabe, why is it standing? <laughs> um, Zenoslater Rain the Vertex. Uh, drive. It's Tetra Drive Dragon. It's a great card, another great card. Is it a Vanguard reference? Huh. 927, 3 gauge, uh, put it on top of a size 3. When it attacks you with 6 or more dragons in your drop zone, you can destroy a monster. And it has double attacks, you can just wipe people's fields. And um, it, this is how I can counter Energaia, because you can attack with it not during the battle phase. So you can also destroy Energaia during the final phase. We all hate Energaia here. Hell yeah! And that's why I love that card. Uh, next, with some updates, I'm running two copies of Two Over Dimensional Dragon EXA Dimension. How Two Over Dimension is it? Two. <sighs> I'm only running two because it's kind of cost heavy. It's three gauge instead of two like Dimension, and its ability Dimension is Soul Blast one. This is a Soul Blast two, so if I can't really feed the soul, I can only use it once. So I like to keep it uh, low. It's a Soul Blast 2 game. Like triple attack? Game. Exactly. So it can have triple attack, and when it, for some reason, when it destroys a monster, you can burn them for one, and Soul Guard. So you can just wipe people's boards and burn them for a lot of damage, which is really cool. So this is still a really good card, though. I, I, uh, I'm really glad I picked up copies. 
Next, we're running two copies of the Ewakite upgrade, Trans uh, Transcendent Star Dragon Emperor Ewakite. Um, it's also three gauge, which is why I'm keeping it at two until the soul. Ewakite, the other one, is pay two life, mill three. This is on attack, mill three. So while it's on attack, so you can't do cross knife shenanigans or um, a dimensions ability, you don't need to pay life, which is really nice. And it's also, it has a really good stat line. It's a 926, so you can still hit Aethera even if they have uh, the shoes on. Next, uh, we're running two copies of Erudite Dragon Emperor Philosophia. It's a, a pay a gauge and discard itself to stand a size three, which is nice because there are a lot of cards that are like um, on call. It counters Zodiac because um, when uh, you call something, it's rested, so you can stand it to get all your attacks. Oh, but if you're not playing against it, you can get an additional attack because it's just stand a card and you can do it during the battle phase. I was only able to, I didn't have any of these, and I want to thank the guys at my Buddy Fight Locals. I want to thank Dylan, who gave me one uh, copy to use for my deck, and I want to thank Richard, who let me borrow his three copies for the tournament. So uh, I want to thank those guys. I'm going to pick these up myself, and you should definitely run them, but uh, they helped me finish my deck. And uh, the, this actually came in clutch in some of my games, so I want to thank them for helping me win. Next, we're running one copy of Black Crystal Dragon, Lucian Black. It's basically um, Death Wizard Dragon from Darkness, but better because it's a 525 size 3 so you can use it with um Zenislater and you don't have to pay life to get two gauge so it's a really nice card I love Lucian. Uh, next we're running one copy of um biggest dragon arms uh triple buster um give a card it's 534 and in what cross dies what's in soul give a card 3k a crit and penetrate I'm only running one because I only ran one copy of the get Penetrate Giver Dragon Arm and one copy of the um, Crit and Power Dragon Arm in my last build, and it worked fine. And uh, uh, Gyra Plus can tutor this, so even if you only have one, you can get the copy. And you, re I really don't need this from what I've seen stack multiple triple busters, so one copy is good. Next. Uh, we're running two copies of Drag Solar because it lets me call uh, Neo Dragon or Star from Drop. The main cards are all Neo Dragons, so you can also Superior Impact call with it, and it gives it a free soul because Drag Solar stays there. And um, when a Neo Dragon attacks, if it's in Soul, you can drop and drop. So it's really nice. That's also not a hard once per turn. So if you have two Drag Solars in the Soul or double attack or both, you can easily filter your entire deck. So if you have um, what's it called? Triple Buster in your hand, and you want it to drop for Dimension, you can just drop it with Drag Solar, which is really nice. Uh, only one copy of Jerk Line, because I'm too poor to get a third Drag Solar, or Kong Kong Kongs, and it's really nice because it just discard a card, put a Dragon Arm into a Neo Dragon Salt, so it helps me reuse stuff like Triple Buster if it's into this uh, drop zone thanks to Solar. So I still like uh, Jerk Line. Next, we have... The gauge engine of this deck is four copies of King Gorai, which is uh, if your flag is Dragon's Vi, you can discard it to charge two. So it's a really nice just to give you that handy dandy gauge. Next, we're running four copies of Pisca Pisca. When it's put into the soul of a size three, uh, you can charge one, and it's put from anywhere. You can put into it from deck with Gyra Plus or the cost of the Evid Kites. Drop, you can put it from drop zone with um, the dimensions or from field with ball soleil. If it's just put into the soul by any means, you uh, get a gauge. So it's really nice to get that beautiful gauge. Next is one copy of uh, Dragon Arms uh, Wygar, which is actually really nice. It's a size one, so you can't call and cross this into a three, but you can tutor it with Gyra Plus. It's um, when it's removed from the soul by soul guard or a dimension effect, you can charge two. So, what's re really nice about this is I'm only running one because the size one so it can get clunky and it's also, again, tutorable by Gyro Plus. And what's kind of annoying is it's a hard once per turn because it's a named ability, so even if you have two Wygars and a Soul, you can't Soul Blast both of them to charge four. But it, it came in really, really handy um, in a game. I ha it was in the Soul of an Evan Kite. It was destroyed and I charged. And then I put into the Soul of a Dimension. And I got to charge, I got to impact hole. So this came in really handy dandy. So I love it. More gauge helpers. Rest uh, Sphere Remnant Star Sphere Cemetery Star Remnant. It reduces the cost of all your Neo Dragons by a gauge, so it makes it a lot easier to play things. Also, um 
like, yeah, that's all it does. And that's why it's great. Four. You just, it's four. All of yours are size three Neo Dragons. You need four. Um, four Destructor. Pay two life, draw two. It's one of the best dice one clones in the game because it has a, it has a stat line. And lastly, two copies of Garble Anchor. It's, um, you can pay a gauge and a life and Soul Blast itself to nullify a spell. So, uh, if you're gonna hit with a giant beefy crit, like three crit and penetrate, thanks to, um, Buster, nullify shields, which is cool. And we went to the sideboard really quick. Also, uh, playing two more copies of Philosophia, it, just in case I'm playing against um, Zodiac or Oni Assassin, because they can main for Snake Gaze. So, um, Philosophia comes in really handy. Four copies of Glaces, because um, a deck, an issue this deck can kind of have is with his penetrate. Like one of my games yesterday. I was playing against Jackknife. He had a the impact monster with two busters. So it was penetrating for five damage and nullifying if I could. And stuff like that, nullifying would be really nice, so I like Glacies. Um, also, a lot of the time they have to do link attacks to hit, so that um, can just stop all their attacks in the water. One copy of Transportal, which is nice for the mirror match. If it's in the soul of a Neo Dragon and it attacks, you can drop one of your opponent's soul. I really like it. Also works. Setting. It also works against Prism Dragons, except Mystery Setting. Yes. And because we have a lot of double uh, double attacks, you can just drop a bunch of soul in the mirror match. So that's really cool. I want one copy of Sonic Blast, which is um, when you. Attack with Sonic the Neo Dragon. Blast. Why not Sonic Fast? Stop. You can pay a gauge and destroy a card, which also works against Neo Dragon, so you can destroy items with it. Not Neo Dragon, Prism Dragons. But yeah, item and spell destruction is fun, so I like that. And um, probably my favorite sideboard card is two copies of Vaishal. I played against Energaia in my last game, uh, last round, and it's what helped me win because while it's in the soul of a Neo Dragon, its abilities and all soul abilities, like Triple Buster, can't be nullified. So you can keep double attacking Ender Gaia, which is how you get over it. So I, this thing came in hella handy. And again, it's searchable by Gyra Plus. So that was my updated deck. Um, I got 13th place, which I'm pretty proud of for my first Buddy Fight tournament in... Um, Three years? Yeah, since I started the game, really. So I, um, I'm really proud of it. I love this deck. It's really fun, and it's a really strong deck. Um, you should play Buddy Fight. It's a great game. This is a great deck, too. And, uh, see you around. Peace, Raise fam. Raise awareness. Raise the flag.